Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Today it's going to be a showing off video. I've gotten in some new items along with some other updates. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. So, let's get started. First things first, some of my pawn shop and flea market finds. I found this 65th anniversary Zippo lighter from my good buddy Austin in its original tin. He's already bought that. And then, since Austin collects alcohol and tobacco products, I also found him this. Those who know your history will get this reference. And then I also found him some Zippo lighters. I found this scroll engraved one. And I found him this modern one. Well, 2019, so it's a couple years old, but it's not that old. And then I found him this beautiful scroll engraved cigarette case made by Parker Industries. And then Austin also got me a wooden piece from my SKS. This is the top cover. And now I just got to go ahead and wait for the rest of the stock to get here, and I'll put that on. And then I also found Austin a unique lighter. These were pretty popular back in the day. What it is, it's a butane lighter, but it's also an automatic knife. Beautiful. Really popular with collectors back in the day, and they are a little collectible now. And then I found this Zippo lighter that I'm keeping. This one has Wild State Construction Company. Malvern, Arkansas, which is really close to my home state, found out this company is actually still in business. So this one I'm actually going to clean up and keep for myself. And then I found this beautiful set of knuckle dusters at a pawn shop. And these I'm going to keep for myself because I do collect these every now and then because they're just fun to have in your collection. Then I got a couple of pocket knives. I got a Camillus two-blade jack. That's going to my good my good friend Jack, ironically. And because I'm putting together a lot for him. And then I also found Jack as well, a nice Cullens & Co. electrician's knife. Which is going to his his bundle. I'm putting together a bundle for him. And then here's some knives I made. I used some jaw bones that I had lying around. Beautiful. And this one I kind of created as a movie knife. You know, obviously this will never be used, but it's a good little prop to have. It's functional though, because this is a real saw blade. And then I also made this one right here out of a saw blade and gave it a metal handle that I filled with silver solder. Gives it that scary butcher knife look. And then speaking of butcher knife, I got in a giant saw blade and I made this one completely from scratch. Left the rusted patina look and just clear coated over it. Put a sharp edge on it and put a dark walnut handle. Again, leaving the patina look to again, to again make it look old. And then, for YouTube reasons, this is not real. This is a prop. It's not a real gun. Can't even be used. I made this Fallout replica of the Fallout pipe submachine gun. Non-functional. It's just a prop. Not real. Beautiful. And I'm going to be showing another Fallout prop I'll be making in another video. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Overall, not a bad bundle. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, stay sharp. 